I'm Duke. And I'm Lola. And this is Boston Nova Life. And today we're in Portland, Oregon. For Rose City Roundup. The Rose City Roundup, baby. We've been here so much. So many times, so yeah. many amazing custom cars. Let's check it out. Seven, eight years. Trent. Where are you from, Trent? Vancouver, Washington. Vancouver, so you just bought it across the bridge. I love it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what are you running in it? Uh, it's still got the original flathead, but it's uh, been rebuilt. It's got dual carbs and split wow. pipes. And so all OG, but yeah, I love it. Can I see the motor? Of course. Oh, that's right. We're going to see some flathead power today, guys. Oh, that's pretty. You do that all yourself? Yep. Wow. Is this original paint? Half of it is. The other half is still in progress and primer. Okay. I yeah. like it though. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of the original paints on top and in the back and stuff. Wow, oh, it looks like it. That's that's yeah. amazing. I love it. So how much work did you have to do to well, it? Basically I've been working on the drivetrain and the brakes and updated the for like uh, the last seven shaft, years. different shocks, different straight out some chrome and some stainless, a lot of rust, rust repairs in all different places. Wow, you're, you're going talented. I love it. Yeah. That is a pretty ride. We're pulling in right now. Dude! <laughs> How's it going? Doing good, man. You brought the doggo and everything. Oh yeah. You love it. What's she, the doggo's name? She go, oh, that's May. May? How are you doing, May? Yeah. Going to the car show. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. What have we got here? It's a 1948 Ford Super Deluxe. I love it, man. Chevy Power. Chevy Power. There's another bow tie in a Ford too. We're gonna have some haters today. Yeah. I can see it, but you, you it's made cheaper. it. You made it reliable. <laughs> That's what I tell everybody, right? Yeah. It's cheaper. Yep. And easier to find parts. Yeah. Easier to find parts, and you keep it on the road, right? That's the main thing. What's your name? I'm Chris. Where are you from, Chris? Vancouver. Vancouver. Okay, so just across the bridge. Right. Oh, I'm right. Jumping away. I bought it uh, about six months ago. Oh, okay. Call it my midlife crisis. Oh, well, you know, there's, there's, there, there are worse ways to do a midlife crisis, right? Yeah. Well, I used to build cars when I was young, but okay. ended up married, six children, and no money. That's right. <laughs> I've well, got, got one left at home, so. You got yourself a sweet little ride, man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. We're not soggy yet. Years later. You're what? We're not soggy quite yet. I don't know. We're not using the R word, though. My name's Ian Bruce McWilliams. I'm from Southeast Portland. I'm in the Moonlighters Car Club. Uh, this is my 1930 Model A sedan. I love it. Did you chop the top yourself? Um, I did with the help of uh, Aaron Clyde at Southbound Customs okay. and, and a couple other guys. Came over on a Sunday. I, we went over to his place and chopped. You got somebody creeping on you from the club right here. <laughs> Thanks. Lola loves gold and black. That's why I had to ask. And you, and you got the you got the gold interior and the gold on the motor. The interior was 
in the car when I got it. Oh wow. So that's part of why I just kind of stuck with it because it's there and why, why it takes something out when it's already mm -hmm. a good thing. Yeah, it works. And what are you running in it? 1956 Chevy 265. 265, I like that. That's a date coated four barrel intake manifold and a WCFE carburetor just to kind of make it appear correct. Yeah, man. Um, and then I'm running a T5 Chevy transmission and a Ford 9 inch out of an early Bronco. Okay, so this thing moves. It does, yeah, that's pretty scary. <laughs> I'm still pretty scared of it. <laughs> A little American graffiti action on us with this one. <laughs> I like it. Look at it. Here we go. Oh, you build the gauge cluster yourself? No. Yeah, that's a piece you can buy. Yeah. But the, that's guitar pit cover. Um, and then that top hole I drilled so I can see the stock fuel gauge. Ah. Yeah, a lot of guitar people. Guitar pit cover. Yeah. That's so, a pretty cool idea. A piece of glass. So I've modified everything to make it all work. Um, one small feature is the, the top round knob over there. That's my key. Mm -hmm. it, it just looks like a round knob. That's what happens when you drink beer and sit in your garage and open your car. <laughs> you get a lot of stupid ideas. There you go. <laughs> President of the Washington Roadman right here. And what is your name, sir? Butch. Butch, and where are you from? Originally grew up in California, but uh, live in Tacoma now. Tacoma, okay. So, like, what, three hours away? Yeah. All right. Good little drive. Yeah, well, you brought this sweet ride. I've seen it before. I didn't realize it was yours, though. So, you want to tell us a little bit about it? Uh, 49 Ford. Um, it's kind of been around a little bit. Um, I actually uh, bought it from a really good, really good dude in uh, Oregon, right here in Oregon. Okay. It was already much, pretty much, already pretty much done. Um, I know it was uh, a lot of the restoration was done in Coos Bay, Oregon. Oh, really? Um, car, that's, car. My, that's my original neck of the woods. Yeah, list. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but um, I've, you know, kind of made it my own. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a lot of people don't like it, but it does have a small block 350 in it. It's got Chevy they, running how, gear. How could they not like a shoebox? I don't well, even know. It's not about the shoebox. It's a 350. It's about that I, I got a Chevy. You put a, I got a Chevy running and gear. A Ford. And, okay, I yeah, get it. Ford, I get so it. I missed that. Sorry. A lot of people don't like that Frankenstein. Frankenstein in the cars, but. But you're looking for. For reliability I like to be able to go to O'Reilly's and buy parts exactly <laughs> whenever I need it <laughs> but um but yeah it's uh I've driven it everywhere it's a solid running car um, so what I'm hearing here from you is that there's a, a, a point where functionality goes over form absolutely absolutely <laughs> um, getting ready to get it back in the paint shop uh, it does have some some paint flaws in it but uh, I'm getting ready to put it back in there to get some stuff done well I, I love the color of it I've always loved all Stay in of the, the same the color, Stay in the same color. Yeah, yeah, I've, like I said I've seen it around I, I appreciate it man yeah and, and I'm glad you have a ride that you do get to take around and uh, not just sit in the garage looking pretty. You got to be able to drive them. You got to be able to drive them. Don't like them sitting in the garage collecting dust. Bring them out once a once a weekend. <laughs> Weakness for long roofs and long roofs with tinted windows are even better. Look at me, do I look, do I look like I eat half a muffin? <laughs> you see me with a half a muffin when you see me with a yeah. Are you having a good time, Lola? I am. I came out and it was raining and then I smiled and then it went away. That's now right, we the rain went some, away? Yeah, we have a little calm. We're not allowed to say the R word here in Oregon though. Oh no. Um, not the R word. No. You're not like you're not like Colt who changes cars like three times a year. No, I'm stuck in an abusive relationship with <laughs> <right now. laughs>
we literally you, took you, it. You got it out of a barn. Yeah. Yesterday was its first shakedown run. Yeah, we started working on it. It was a gutted car. So you're telling Everywhere. me I'm the first guy to get it on camera. Yeah. That's, what, yeah. that's what I like to hear. Yeah. It's all about me. No, I'm joking. Yeah, it was gutted, and then uh, in February we started working on it, and then today was its first maiden voyage. So what are you running in it? Small box Chevy. Okay. Just easy. The, it had an inline eight, but it, it wasn't in it. Oh, wow. So it was completely gutted. It was just a gutted. shell. Yeah, all the floorboards were gone. Everything was gone. Interior as well? Yeah, everything was gone. Was oh, wow. Look at the Pontiac, baby. Yeah, 53 Chieftain. Yeah, I don't think I've seen too many Chieftains around. Yeah, that's, it's pretty rare. It's cool. So what, what's the long-term plan? Uh, I kind of want to leave it the patina. Maybe, <laughs> you know, put some uh, clear coat or something on it. Just leave it like this. I like it. Yeah. Well, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. And what is your name? Mine is Dennis Martin. And where are you from, Dennis? I'm from Woodenville, Washington. Oh, well, wonderful. And what have we got here? We got a 1949 Plymouth. It's been modified a bit. Disc brakes in the front. I just had the, the interior redone. Wonderful. And uh, yeah, it turned out really nice. I, I really yeah. like the car. It's a nice cruiser. So but how long have you had it? I've only had it for about two years now. Okay. And, and you got all that done to it? Yeah. I took it down this last April to, uh, to Viva. Yeah. Drove it all the way down to uh, Las Vegas. Yeah, I knew I'd seen it at Viva. Yeah, That's I think yeah. it's on one of your, your interview, beginning of your show, uh, your shot yeah. at uh, Viva. It's a pretty car, and I love those hubcaps, yeah. too. Oh, I love the hubcaps. Too. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. Yeah. So, well, thank you for bringing it here today, oh, man. Yeah. All right. It was an easy, easy you know, transition into my my collection. <laughs> well, we always have a lot of Viva cars up here in Portland, oh, yeah. and we appreciate oh, yeah. that. Oh, yeah. So, thanks, man. Thank you. Fuck you, Duke Bossa Nova. <laughs> I can't see that. <laughs> Everybody keeps giving me half a piece symbol. What does that yeah. mean? No, it's like this. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. And what is your name? JC Davis. And where are you from, JC? Uh, Vancouver, Washington. Okay, so you just came across the bridge down here. Okay, yeah. About half the crew. Yeah. I love it. So what do we got here, man? We got a 1930 Ford Coupe, originally from Australia. Wow. Been uh, three countries now. Let's see, that's the other way. Usually they all get shipped to Australia. I know, I know. <laughs> I was glad to bring something back that's home. That's right. So how long have you had it? I've had it 10 years now. 10 years, wow. So you did all of this to it? Yeah, I brought it back from Australia in 2020 and just brought the body, the fenders and all of that. And then I built it here. Okay, and what yeah. are you running in it? I'm running a 1949 Mercury Flathead ABA. Wow, I love that. Yeah, got a T5 Borg Warner transmission and a 1950 Winners Quick Change in the rear end. Wow, this is a, a real traditional car. Like it that. is, it is. Well, you're speaking my language more and more. So did you do the interior work as well? Yep, I uh, started chop the upholstery and customs here because yeah. people needed the upholstery so started off with my car and we've done about uh, four or five cars here at the show today. Alright, well I like that. Thanks man, I appreciate it. Thank Enjoy you. Have a good one.